The first kind of unwise way to call people is we talk about divisions. We talk about this group versus that group. This shaykh versus that shaykh. You know, this school of thought versus that school of thought. You said this, but that shaykh said that. You want to have a battle? You know? And then there are people who say they talk about Islam, but the only thing they talk about is how wrong the other guy is. They will have YouTube channels, Facebook pages, blogs. These people put a lot of effort into studying the mistakes of someone else. Get a life, dude. But anyway, that's what they do. They study, they study, and they say, in video number, in this video, in minute number 87, Dude, you listen for 87 minutes to wait for a mistake? That's amazing. I am impressed with the level of attention span you have. This brother said this, and astaghfirullah al-azim, this is why this brother is a fitna, and he is calling people to the hellfire, and da 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 and here's my blog to save the ummah from this guy. Does this sound familiar to you? People will benefit from someone? You'll be benefiting? I don't have to name any names. I don't care. I don't care. And this is not even about myself. Because I honestly don't care. I really don't care. I read some of the comments under YouTube videos for entertainment. That's what I do. Somebody comes to you, yeah, you know, but he's got this mistake. Or some people say that he's deviant. Or some people say that he's not a good scholar. Or some people... Have you heard these conversations? Ah, where do you get the some people business from? As we have this, this is not the sunnah of Rasulullah wasallam. this is the sunnah of the Muslim community now. Anybody who will benefit people, you have to find something wrong with them. And let me guarantee you, I or anybody else who ever grabs a mic, there is something wrong with us. Because we're human beings. So if you're gonna find, look for a mistake, I will guarantee you, you will find it. Guaranteed, you will find mistakes. Because we're human beings. And if yours, aha, he made a mistake. Well, like, yeah, he's a human being. You didn't accomplish anything. But you know what? We call this Amr bil ma'roof and nahi anil munkar. What is wrong with you? This is not Amr bil anything. This is you have too much free time on your hands and you don't know how to do something positive. Do something good. Instead of do, re, doing research on the mistakes of someone, why don't you go help your mother cook? Why don't you, why don't you clean your house? Have you ever smelled your socks? Go wash those instead. You know? Do something else with your life. Don't do this. You're not serving anything. That's the first kind of unwise conversation. And it takes so much energy away from the Muslims. So much of their energy is just spent on this, this rad of this one versus that one, and that one versus this one. Come on. You know? And then the second... The second kind of poisonous, I don't even call it wise conversations about Islam. These are poisonous conversations about Islam. The second kind of poisonous conversation about Islam is when people are judgmental. They want to judge you more than Allah will judge you. They let people know they're gonna go burn in hellfire or this is haram and you don't even know the discussion of the fuqaha, you know nothing. But you think it's haram, so you wanna put your fatwa on the world. What qualifications do you have, homeboy? Where did you get this from? I want to tell you a fun conversation I had. One of my friends, Shaykh Abdul Nasir, some of you know him. Shaykh Abdul Nasir and I were at a dinner. And there were some people having dinner with us, and one brother had a very short beard. He had a very short beard. And the brother next to him had a long beard. And the brother with the short beard, at dinner, turned to the guy with the long beard and said, Akhi, your face, haram. <laughs> you have to... And he's, he's, making, he's embarrassing this guy at a dinner table. And you know, when it comes to matters of fiqh, when it comes to matters of fiqh, I don't open my mouth. Because I'm not a faqih. I'm not even a scholar. But Shaykh Abdul Nasir is actually a faqih. And he's sitting there listening to this guy. He, by the way, both of them are like 20 years old. Akhi, this is haram. In the, in the hadith it says you have to grow your beard, etc. Et and Shaykh Abdul Nasir, oh man, sometimes... This guy, he's about to eat his, his, his barbecue, and he puts the thing down, and he goes, Brother, where's the hadith? And he goes, uh, uh, I think it's in Bukhari. I was like, yeah, which, which bab? Who's the rawi? Who narrated it? Who did he narrate it to? 
How was it understood by the Sahaba? How was it understood by the first generation? How was it understood by Imam Bukhari himself? What's the commentary on this hadith in Fathul Bari? What about the Maliki school? What did they comment about this hadith? What about the Shafi'i school? What did they comment about this? And the brother said, you're embarrassing me. Please don't embarrass me. And he said, yes, I'm embarrassing you because you're embarrassing him. You don't know, but you, would, you like to take things and just either make them halal or make them haram. You don't have the qualifications. There is a lot of conversation that goes into, before you say Allah forbade something, you have to be very careful. There's not a small thing. Tilka hudud Allah. Tis the hudud of Allah. You don't just get to drop haram, haram. You don't get to do that. And you don't get to decide who's gonna burn in hellfire and who's guided and who's misguided. The ayah that I'm reading to you today towards the end, when we get to the end of the ayah, إِنَّ رَبَّكَ هُوَ أَعْلَمْ بِمَنْ ضَلَّ عَنْ سَبِيلِهِ Your Rabb, He knows who's misguided, not you. You don't get to decide that. But we love to judge people very quickly. As a matter of fact, we are so good at judging people, we judge people as soon as they walk into the masjid. We look at them, oh, short beard. <laughs> we look at them, check the pants. Oh, yeah. So quick, we send people to Nar. Most people we send to Nar. This is, this is a horrible, horrible thing to do. Horrible thing to do. Judging people through Islam. The only one to judge is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Our job is not to judge. Our position is not to judge. 